Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Napoli. Welcome to this edition of Napoli Nutrition Update. Today we're going to pack a lot of information in. This one is for the ladies. We're going to talk about estrogen balance, how that affects your cancer risk, a home test that you can do to assess your cancer risk, and then how you can change it in 60 days. It's really cool. Stay right there. There are three main forms of estrogen. Estradiol, which is the most potent form of estrogen, that's the form that kicks in when you first go through puberty, changes your body. It is a form that promote, can promote cancer though. Estriol, that's a weak estrogen, but it is cancer protective. And estradiol, I'm sorry, estrone, which has good forms and bad forms. One thing I could never understand years ago when I first learned this was how estradiol, something the body's supposed to produce, could promote cancer, all right? Understand body byproducts, the body has ways of getting rid of them, but this is something the body's supposed to make, I couldn't understand it. Turns out that in a healthy body, the body's supposed to produce estradiol, it's supposed to do its job, flipping switches on, flipping switches off, that's what hormones do, and then almost immediately, it's supposed to be converted and broken down into protective forms of estrogen. Okay, now, in an ideal body, that's what happens. We need, for that to happen, we need something called DIM, diindolomethane. Sounds, it's a scary sounding word, but it's actually something very good for you. In an ideal world, we would get this from vegetables that we eat, all right? Vegetables in the brassica family. Uh, those are broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kale, bok choy, uh, broccoli rabe. Those are all in the same family. They're rich in something called indole-3-carbonyl and sulfurophane. The body takes those. And if you have healthy bacteria in your intestines and a number of enzymes and cofactors that the body needs to do this, it'll convert it into DIM. We run into two potential problems. One, you have to have all the right things in your body to make those conversions, and many people do not. Number two, the fruits and vegetables that we're eating are predominantly hybrids. They've been bred for certain qualities, and, lot, and many recent studies of some of the vegetables in the brassica family have shown that because they've been crossbred for certain qualities, they have little to no sulfurophane measurable in them, which is, a, which is an upsetting situation. So, cool thing is, we can, we can supplement with that. All right? You can get DIM in a capsule. It's not very well absorbed unless the company that makes it knows how to produce an absorbable supplement for DIM. Uh, the one that I use is very highly absorbed. It needs to be in the presence of some fat as well. Now, there's a test that can be done to assess your ratio of good to bad estrogens. It's called the 2-16-hydroxyestrone ratio. It's a home urine test that you can do. It gets shipped out to a lab, and we can assess those ratios. And although there are a number of tests available out there, make sure that if you do have this test, that it also includes the 4-hydroxyestrone and 4-methoxyestrone levels. All right, these are not all easy to say, you know. Uh, those levels are important to be seen together with that 2,16-hydroxyestrone ratio. Here is the amazing thing. If that test comes back with the bad estrogens dominant, which is the vast majority of all I've ever seen, we can change that ratio within 60 days just with targeted supplements, okay, using the DIM and some other things. It's so cool to see that level come back down to where it should be. Um, it's very, this is a very important test to, to consider. I actually recommend virtually every woman to take it. But most importantly, if you have a family history of cancer, if you have a personal history of cancer, and by the way, when we're talking about the cancer risk, we're talking about predominantly estrogen sensitive cancers, which are going to be uterine cancer, uh, cervical cancer, breast cancer, uh, ovarian, uh, and even now some research is showing head and neck cancers. So please, um, don't ignore this, all right? Send this, uh, I'd appreciate it. send this information to anybody that you know that may be at risk. Uh, this is going to be life-changing information. And um, give me a call if you want some further information on this, all right? Uh, thanks very much for watching. God bless. Be well.